guess Hong Kong's out. Well now, what an amazing dream, and a great way to welcome you back to Shenmue. So what you see in there, um, Ryo had a reaction to none of money to go to Hong Kong. That's because in the last episode, we searched the house for the Phoenix Mirror, and while we turned to Master Chen, we, two things happened. One, we were attacked by a mysterious assailant who belonged to the Bad Angels, and the second one is Landy has already went back to Hong Kong, so Ryo wants to go. So let's all open the booklet here. And he must go to Hong Kong ASAP, but no money, no connections. So we'll talk to Fukusan, who should be in his room. So let's go there now. And I must say, man, I had a great time playing the last mission, find a fierce mirror in the house. It brought back many memories of this game. Fuxa, you know of any cheap travel agencies? Yeah, there's one in Dabuita, but... Dabuita, hmm... Why you wanna know? I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong. Huh? Hong Kong? Yeah, it appears that Lan Di went there. But what, what will you tell Ine-san? I'll persuade her. Not alone you won't. I'll help you. Ine-san, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I know it's sudden, but I'm thinking of going on a trip. A trip? Yes. <laughs> Good. You could use a vacation. Oh, yeah. Where are you thinking of going? Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Fuxan. It seems the man who killed Hazuki Sensei is there. Inesan, please give him the money for the trip. Idiot. What are you planning to do, Ryo-san? Oh, nothing. Nothing? This is crazy. I can't let you do this. Well, he has to get there somehow, Inesan. I'm not listening. Inesan. End of discussion. Huh? Thanks a lot. What? What did I do? You didn't have to tell her everything. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this by myself. Man, I swear, he has a big mouth. Next time, we'll see next time, I'm gonna knock his hairline back a few inches. I was talking. So now that so now that Inesan said no, we're gonna do this on our own. So we gotta find some travel agencies in the Buita. So we'll go there. I have to be sure not to waste this. Look at all that snow, guys. All that beautiful snow. You know what I must say? When I first saw this back in, back in 2000, the Dreamcast, I was blown away by how lovely the snow was. In fact, until then, um, not many games did snow like this. You know, in fact, looking nowadays in games nowadays, uh, I've seen a lot of great snow in games. Some of the best I've seen so far was the games like um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim and... Red Dead, Red Dead 2. That game has some amazing snow. And 
And there's uh, Megumi. Hey, Dio. Hey, Megumi. Dio, Mimi's disappeared. Has she? She was already gone when I came. Will she come back? Okay, I'll go find her, and you wait here, Megumi. Thanks so much, Dio. Oh no, so the cat has um disappeared. So now we must find her. Yeah, I'll tell you now, I'll tell you now, losing a pet as an adult is bad enough, but as a kid, it is actually heart wrenching. So we go ahead and find we'll go ahead and find Mimi, that lovely cat. You know that I remember a time where my cat ran away from home, I cried for days, man. And I love that cat. Hmm? I can hear her mewing. It must be from down there. I don't know if you guys hear the, hear the sound of, of the, uh, her mewing, but in my headphones, it's coming from the right channel. And now the left. Man, this game has some amazing sound effects. You the first time. There she is. Well, there you are. Ah, oh, there. Nozomi. Ryo, wait. Were you looking for her too? Yeah. She's here, Megumi. Oh, really? Mimi, Mimi, where have you been? I was worried. Great, huh? Yep. Thanks a lot, Nozomi. No, not me. Ryo found her. Thanks a lot, Ryo. No problem. Well, I gotta go meet my friend. See ya. Yeah. Are you cold? Mimi, you look well. <laughs> hey, see you soon. Pretty sweet guys, so you found the cat. Yeah, if I, if I lost a pet, like even a dog, I would be so sad. And if I do, I'm power to find that, find my dog. That, how many of you guys, um, have you guys ever lost a pet? If so, um, how'd you feel after finding it? Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so now back on track, we need to find a travel agency to get to Hong Kong. So let's talk to these two ladies here. They're probably nosies, they're probably nosies oh hell. Sumia san. Hi, Ryo. Do you know of any cheap travel agencies? What? Are you going on a trip? Where? Nowhere. Going with someone special? I'm going alone. <laughs> yeah, right. That's fine if you want to keep it a secret. You need some fun after all your troubles. It's nothing like that, really. If you say so. Um. Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, do you know of any cheap travel agencies? Ryo, are you going off somewhere and leaving Ine-san behind? A bit selfish, don't you think? No, it's not like that. Don't you go causing Ine-san any more grief, young man. Yes. Okay, so... They're not much help, and they're pretty nosy. Um, let's go visit this lady in here, in the store. Let's see if he's here. Excuse me. What is it, baby boy Do Do you know of a cheap travel agency? No, I don't, baby boy Do. Where are you going? Well, I... And I haven't been anywhere for the past ten years. I see. Damn. So the name calling, man. Baby Boy Dio. That sounds pretty funny. Jesus. So uh, while we're here in Sakagaoka, let's go to the park real quick. Let's see what we know about, about um, travel agencies. 
I mean, I can't imagine being in the 80s and so trying to book a flight. I mean, I don't know how old you guys are, but... I mean, I imagine a phone call, going in person, paying all this money, going on a trip. I mean, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it's the way it is now with online travel. Excuse me. Oh, Ryo. Is this a good time? What's on your mind? I want to show you something. What is it? Uh, this. What an unusual stone mirror. Apparently, it is called the Phoenix Mirror. I see. There is a phoenix carved into it. Is there anything special about this mirror? Hmm. Well, the phoenix is a sacred bird of legend. But, uh, this has an ominous feel. Ominous? In China, there are many treasures that contain both good and bad fortune. This is called the secret of yin and yang. The secret of yin and yang? You'd best be careful. This may have something to do with your father's unfortunate death. I don't know if this information helps, but that's all I can tell you. I see. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've learned a little more about the Phoenix Mirror. Okay, let's open the journal for a second. Let me get it. Okay, so it says here, Secret of Yin Yang. All items harbor both good and evil fortune. And it makes you wonder if the Phoenix Mirror was good fortune and Dragon was a bad. But I'm kind of glad, though, that Landy doesn't have the two mirrors. But unfortunately, Rio's father died for it. Make me sadder. So um, let's continue on to um, the Buita. And we're we, we going to go ahead and find some travel agencies. Nomura san. Oh, Dio! Hello! Do you know of any cheap travel agencies? Is there such thing as a cheap travel agency? Traveling costs a lot of money, you know. Yeah. But seriously. I know a place called Global Travel Agency in Dobuita. Can't say if they're cheap, though. I see. Alright, well, there you go. So now we know the place called, um, Global Travel Agency. So we're gonna, we're gonna go there now. Man, I can't talk to those two. They're gonna cuss me out. <laughs> but yeah, see? The important thing in this game is you talk to people in town and you learn you learn a few things. Let's um, run to let's run toward town. And I don't think nothing nothing is okay, it's still noon, so things should be open now. First let me, let me stop here real quick. I speak to um Sha -san. Just for a second. I don't want to say hi. Hello. Oh, Hazuki-san. Thanks for your help the other day. But, can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? 
It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wow. Now, I'll, now, I'll tell you right now, though, that is one really good cutscene of the Big Dipper. I don't ever recall seeing that seeing it before in the Dreamcast version that I played back in the day. And also, I feel kind of weird showing that mirror around to the public. I'd probably care about that. But the one thing that's pretty cool in this game now that I didn't notice is that Ryo and Shasan had a mirror reflection in the room. And I wonder if, the, if, that mirror, if that mirror reflection was done using either render texture or some other feature in the, in the game. Because um, doing mirror reflections is very intense in my memory. And I can't imagine how they did it back then in my Dreamcast. So, um, let's go to, um, the World Travel Agency. I believe it's over here somewhere. If I remember correctly. So, there's Tom. There's Kuriko. Yep. So, I'm right here. So, let's go over here. Go inside. Ah, please come in. Hello. A vacation? Yes, to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Well then, have a seat. Are you a student? Yes. With a student discount about... 220,000 yen. Wow. Is there a cheaper one? A one-way fare? I'm afraid we don't sell one-way tickets. The ticket alone's about 198,000. Really? I'll come back. Here, why don't you take this pamphlet with you? Think about it, and if you're interested, come back. Okay, thanks. Please come again. I'll go home and talk it over with Fuxan. Damn. That is a lot of money. Mm -mm -mm. So I guess we're gonna head back home now. And once again, we do focus on. Or I still will smack with a skull. Rat me out to, to eat son. So, so yeah, so we're about 20 minutes in, and I want to thank you all for watching this video. You know, this this game has this game has brought back so many good memories. You know, play, playing a long long cold winter nights and long summer days. You know, even 2024, this is still an amazing game. Alright, so let's um, head back home now. And put the focus on. Dogs bark everywhere. <laughs> found her too because on um, me I don't know what I would do if I lost my pet lost my pet So see here, so Fukusan should be in this room. But um, let's go 
go to him some more. Let's see who's here. The Hong Kong Fair. Pretty expensive, eh? Just a moment. Ryo-san. What's that? This here is my savings. I want you to have it. Buk-san. Well, I... I really want to help you out. It's not much, but... Don't hesitate. Smash it open. Are you sure? Yeah. There should be a lot, but... Hmm, well, one, two, three... Uh, 39,634 yen. Ah, oh, that's still not enough. Yeah, right. Ah, I got an idea. Ida Florist. Ida Florist? Nozomi's place? Yeah, she travels overseas a lot. Maybe she'll have a better idea. Good idea. I'll go ask her. Okay. Alright, cool. So, Fukusan gave us some money from this piggy bank. It was kind of weird seeing a piggy bank. Let's see, I can't remember the last time I saw one as a kid. Let's, let's see. We have the, um... I think it was like a clay piggy bank or plastic, something like that. I mean, it's weird seeing it in this game now. <laughs> Um, for the piggy bank, nowadays you have a nowadays um, people use um, people put their change in jars and other stuff in blue bowls to change. It's kind of cool to see. All right, so we're gonna head to over to head back to the waiter to see Nozomi. Yeah, man, this game, man, it's just, it's just something great about this game. I can't, I can't get over. You know, you might notice as well that I don't, I don't like using the area jump because you, know, you know it breaks the flow of the game. It is it's about two ten right now on the game, on the game clock. And I wondered, I often wondered in this game. What's the um, ratio? What's the ratio for timing in this game? You know, such as how many minutes in real life versus an hour of the, of the game clock. Anyway, let's um, go see Nozomi. And Rio's Rio running his ass off. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nozomi. Ryo! What is it? When you go to Canada, do you always fly? Yeah, usually. Why do you want to know? I'm looking for a cheap way to travel overseas. You're going overseas? Yeah. You know, I can only afford about 70,000 yen. 70,000? To where? I'm trying to go to Hong Kong. For a trip to Hong Kong? I doubt that's possible. But I only need to get there. Oh, well then, how about going by boat? By boat. Whenever Grandma goes to Canada with us, we gotta travel by boat. Really? Why? Yeah, cause she hates airplanes. Oh, but that's a secret, okay? Yeah. You might be able to find a boat ticket for a fairly cheap price. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. So we're with Joel here, and we learned from Nozomi that we could probably get to Hong Kong by boat. So let's go over there at the, at the, at the um, agency again. And hopefully it will hopefully be something there.
Ah, please come in. I have a question. Sure, what is it? How much would a boat fare beat Hong Kong? I am sorry, but we don't sell any boat tickets here. Do you know of a travel agency that does? It's urgent. I must get to Hong Kong. I know, but... Please, if you know, tell me. Well, okay. Go out of here and make a right. You'll find Asia Travel Company. But from what I've heard, it's not very good. Okay, take a right, Asia Travel Company. I'll try it. Thank you very much. Okay, that was not reassuring. But, um, yeah, let's go over here anyway to, um, Asia Travel, Asia Travel Company. It should be nearby here somewhere. And of course, we don't know no place, we can always look at it. Yeah, so, I'm on Xbox. So what I do is I hit the left trigger you know, to look at a, to look at an object and lock onto it. So it should be running somewhere. And it should be right over here. Yeah. It's almost 3 o'clock now, so it should be good for now. Be right there. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. What is it? Do you sell boat tickets to Hong Kong here? Boat tickets? Yeah, we do. How much are they? Boat, boat... Uh, here it is. I'll take it. The sooner the better. You gotta pay up before I can arrange it. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'll take care of it. The ticket. Come back in three or four hours. All right. I'll be back in three or four hours then. That was not smart. You know what? I got a bad feeling about this, guys. So I guess for the next three, four hours, we can um, walk around, ask around town about this company. So right now, though, my biggest fear in booking flights is getting, getting ripped off like that. <laughs> it makes me think of stories I've heard online. Or, um, what, what was it? Um, Spirit Airlines. I mean, am, 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 I, am I ever fly that airline? What's it like? Cause all they, all they, all they ever have. But um, for now, let's go in here to this um, antique shop. Excuse me. Oh, Hazuki Sensei's boy. I could really use your expertise again. Of course. Provided it's something I am familiar with. Is it about the sword handguard from the other day? No. It's about this. Hmm. May I take a look? What a marvelous stone phoenix mirror. Stone mirrors were produced in China during ancient times. This is an exceptional piece. Is there anything unusual about this one? Indeed there is. I think perhaps this type of precious stone is only found in the Guilin region. Precious stone? According to a book I once read long ago, an emperor ordered a sculptor from Guilin to engrave a guardian onto a stone mirror. Guardian? The phoenix on this mirror is a guardian. 
Is there any connection between the phoenix and the stone from Guilin? Well, I really can't speculate, but considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there is a connection. I see. Well then, thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. Scene. In fact, I love the music during these, during these, during these um, tender moments. Let's go back in here to the um, the antique shop because I saw some scrolls on the shelf I want to look at. Let's see here. So it's Crawl Cyclone, Mud Spider, Rising Flash, Twin Swallow Leap. Get that one. I'll take this. Thank you very much. That scroll was left behind by a martial arts expert who was researching the Korean style Taekwondo. Brick fire. I'll get that one too. I'll take this. Thank you very much. I heard that this move was left by a jujutsu fighter, but it was too difficult for anyone to master. I'll get one more. So, Mud Spider, um, Crawl Cyclone. Sounds like a good move to have. Let's um, look at that. I'll take this. Thank you very much. That one I purchased from Takayama in Hida. It was discovered at a dojo that had some connection to China. some new moves and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in my inventory for a moment and let's look at our collection. So go to scrolls. So I see Shadow Reaper. So I think it's already been mastered. Let's look, at, look, at, look at stab armor now. I can't read Chinese. And it looks like a palm move to break armor. That's kind of cool. Right, let's look at twin swallow leap. This looks like a strong move. That. By reading scrolls, you now have mastered a new move. And the important part about this is we train our moves. Judging from the pictures, it's a leg move. And this one's on brick fire. It appears to be a throw move. Holy crap, that, that was powerful. Right, so while we're here, let's go ahead and ask around town about the um, Asian Travel Company. Sawano-san. Hello. Do you know anything about Asia Travel Company? What do you want to know? Like, their hours? Hmm. I don't know. I see. I'm sorry, Dio. That's okay. Well, I better go. Yeah, because right now, of course, something doesn't feel right about that company. I'm going to go town and ask, about, ask everyone who we know about it. And also, too, it's a nice way to kill time.
Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know of Asia Travel Company? Asia Travel Company? Is there a place called that? I heard it's cheaper than Global. Never heard of it. Okay, let's go over here to Itoi-san. Itoi-san. Yes. Hey, why don't I make a patch special order? One with a lot of colors. Maybe next time. Okay, not much help there. So, let's, let's, let's go back a little bit and talk to some, some more people in town. Uh, maybe the guy at the hamburger place may know something. But yeah, guys, um, I'm, over, I'm over a half hour in. I want to thank you again for watching this video series. It is absolutely a great series to play, and I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to more. And doing more for you. Have you heard of Asia Travel Company? Yeah, it's right over there. But between you and me, they have a bad reputation. What have you heard? You know the manager of the jeans shop, don't you? Akasaka-san. Yep, that's him. I hear he had a major bad experience. See, he went to the States to get some rare special edition jeans. But the hotel sucked big time, and their tickets booking was irresponsible. I heard the entire trip was awful. I see. Alright, so... Let's go ahead now and speak to Akatsuka-san. Because, um, yeah, that's pretty horrible. Hearing about some trip like that. I mean, I would hate to have a trip like that and have a bad experience. It makes you weary of traveling. Akasaka-san. Hi, Ryo. Ever heard of Asia Travel Company? Yeah. They've got cheap tickets, but you don't want to go there. To tell the truth, I got conned by them once. Why? See? I used them for a trip to go to buy some rare limited edition jeans. We arrived in New Orleans all right, but no hotel room was reserved for me and my transfer ticket was invalid. That's terrible. Don't use Asia Travel Company, no matter what. Okay, so that's a pretty fair warning there. Yeah, confirm me, I think it's too late now for Rio. He, he, bought, he bought a ticket already, and it's a pretty horrible experience. But um, in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna go to the um, it's six o'clock right now. So I'm gonna park and like a little training and kill some time. And I also wanna see some of my new moves, including um, crawl cyclone and, and possibly on break fire if I can use it. Oh, wait a minute, Is that a dog? It's a kitty cat. Aw. I, I don't know why I can't pet the cat in this game. That, that would have been a re really cool feature to um, pet cats in a game like this. Maybe I can practice here. Think I'll warm up a bit. Okay, let's go. So I've gone ahead and applied a move to the left trigger. Which should help him help him help him certain fights. As for the um the scroll for scout armor, I'll definitely have to go to I'll definitely go see either Master Chen or Guizong about that move. And of course when you play a game like this, you don't want to neglect your training. Move, um, 
It's called um Thunder Kick. Let's see here. All cyclone. Okay, left trigger. That's enough. Kind of um, had to had to reset. Let's play though. So it's Ford Backpack A. There we go. All right, cool. So that's enough for now. Let's see if I can. That's so handy though. Later, later in the game, when you fight up, you can get more fights. That one. That's enough. So it's 705 now, and we're gonna head back toward um Asia Traffic Company to get our ticket. And hopefully they have it. business and no one's there. That is not a good sign. Alright, so we'll um, wait a few more minutes. And then go back in. Yeah, so that's one thing about this game that was weird back then. In fact, um, I think I, I think I played this game before like Morrowind. That had a wait had a time wait system. So in the meantime, so I'm going there again. Hopefully someone's in there. It's been, it's been at least four hours. Help you? Yeah, Ryo Hazuki. I'm here for my ticket. Huh? What are you talking about? My Hong Kong ticket I've already paid. Paid who? The woman who... Woman? Don't know no woman. What? What kind of scam is this? We don't take kindly to accusations like that. You best learn some manners. Hey you, you'd better watch your mouth. Ah! I've had enough of this. I've already paid my money. Ah, I understand. Allow me to sort this out. You'd better, or else. Yes, sir. I'll call you first thing tomorrow. 
Oh man, you see that there? I knew some. I knew someone was off about this whole thing. I think I ripped it off. Now I'm pissed. So I guess I'll go home now. I'm gonna go to bed. Yes, yeah, so quote him that quote him a new journal entry. And we go to him again, Akatsuko san. Akasaka san. Leo, what's up? Hey, I've got a pair of jeans that would be perfect for you. Wanna try some on? No thanks. Maybe next time. I see. See you. Yeah, man, that really sucked. Getting, getting um, getting chipped like that. Yeah, so I'll see him about tomorrow, though. He'll give you a new ticket. So we're gonna run on home and head to bed. Okay, so, so we're about four, four or five minutes in, and I don't want to come and thank you all again. We made it this far to this video. I know this game is not for not even not even for tea. But it's one of those games where you can just explore the world, explore the world around you, you know, and unlock more of your story of uh, Rio's life. Ooh, my cat, so cute. on this room so I can thank him for the money. Hey, real son! Fuxan, Nozomi's son brought some flowers by today. Nozomi brought flowers? Yeah. Did you order them? No. Where are they? In the altar room. I see. Alright, so let's head over to the altar room now. Um, apparently you know Zombie about some flowers for the house. Ine-san. Ryo-san, I don't wish to meddle, but please don't do anything reckless. Okay, thanks. See you later, Ine-san. Yes. Yeah, that's really sweet. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty easy request. You know, I'm about to right now, though. I don't know much about her character, about Ine-san. But man, I, man, I love her character, man. She's just sweet. She's a sweet lady. Now, see that? See that? See that? See that? I don't know the TV there. I got a comment from someone who uh, mentioned this. I don't. I don't, I don't know if this is the first time seeing this, but yeah, the Sega Saturn being the TV is kind of anachronistic. Oh, what we got here? Nozomi-san was nice enough to bring those flowers. Nozomi brought these? She even remembered what your father's favorite flowers were. Really? She's such a nice girl. Those are those are amazing looking flowers. I wonder if they're camellias. So in fact, we have them at work, and those flowers are gorgeous. I love how they, they have nice color. I love how, I love how they, I love how they smell. Alright, so we're home now. And we're going to Rio's room, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm going to pause here because um well, we're we're gonna go to sleep, and not only this too, we're gonna wake up in the morning and. Head over to the travel to the to the um travel agency. 
So I'm gonna pause here and when we get back, we'll do that. So you guys hang tight. Hello? How's it going, Joe? Huh? Asia Travel Company? Okay, just a moment. Huh? Hello? It's Jimmy from Asia Travel. I've got your ticket. I'd like for you to come and pick it up. Please, come to the U Arcade on Dobuita at noon. Ryosa, what was that phone call about? The ticket to Hong Kong. Oh, I see. I'm going out. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got a phone call from Jimmy from the Asian Traffic Company. Get our ticket at noon at the arcade. Um, right now it's nine o'clock in the mo nine o'clock in the morning. So we got about three hours to kill. Okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run run down there. So they're gonna kind of kind of get a get their head of time. A kitty cat. So cute. Hi, Megumi. About three years old? Nope. She's about five. Is that so? I looked it up in a book about cats. Good for you. Aw. So Mimi is five years old. That is beautiful. Yeah, I've always wondered about that too. How 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 they age how, how they age cats in cat years. I've heard of cats aging to be about twenty years old, and that's awesome to see. Hear that hear that audio track in the game right now in the background. It sounds ominous. Yeah, as a matter of fact, too, let me see my my real moves. So type a knuckle, hit blow. Let's see. Kind of cool seeing this here. Let's see. Throw. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and use. So it's already um been applied to the move set. So apparently I learned. I didn't know till now. If you if you go to sleep, you train all your moves equally. And I think here we are at the arcade already. But of course the arcade isn't open yet to ten o'clock, so we have a little bit of time to kill. Time. Go ahead and do a little training. Maybe I can practice here. I should work on my moves. 
Okay, let's go. Cyclone, so it's Ford Backpack. I'm still in awe of how full the moves were first time. And also, too, the more we do the move, Strong little get. And also, too, in this game, using the D pad makes moves easier to do. Let me have this on the D pad as an option for moves. That's enough. I'm curious. I wonder what would happen if I went to the arcade now. Oh, probably nothing. No real, of course. I like being punctual. So I'll be rewarded for this information. <laughs> so you know about Landy. Just who the hell is he? <laughs> I'll only tell you if you prove stronger than me.
Just take it easy and rest today. beating yeah so I guess back to that uh, that, that place now that was freaking terrible can't really, can't really get beat like beaten like that that was savage I have to be sure not to waste this actually let me go my notes real quick and see what happened there okay so that bald dude showed up again and he beat me. So I think he might be part of the uh, Mad Angels. We'll find out though from Jimmy. Will we? Now, from what I recall, I'm fighting that dude. It has no bearing on the story. Although, of course, it pushed you forward. And beating him, there's no reward. Kind of glad I caught that cutscene because, um, yeah, it simply shows that Rio was not ready for that character. In fact, neither was I actually, to be honest with you. Because, yeah, I, from what I recall back in the day, he was hard as hell to beat. When I first played play the game. So, let's go ahead now and find this character, find this Jimmy dude. Because, man, he has some hell to pay for this. Tatsuya. Do. Why so down? I think a good one is ready to come out of this capsule toy machine. Do. Please give me a hundred yen. You're always saying that. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Ah, man! <laughs> oh, man, that is cute. Okay, so kid, so kid named Tatsuya. Oh, that's for money. That's funny as hell. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we're, so we're heading down to heading down to the zone. Um, Major Major Trouble Company. And we're gonna do this fast once and for all. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot believe no no need to get gypped. Why would get jumped by that ball dude and beaten up? And also the also in the previous in the previous scene, the guy the, the guy wearing the glasses on, with the coat on, wasn't he with the dudes in the guy industries? Something's going down about that. I don't like it. So let's see here. Your problem. Damn! Stop! Oh! What? Ah! 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 Hey, you! Hey, stop! Damn! Ah. Hey, what Later, are you sorry. doing? Hey, wait! What the? Ugh. Get out of my way! Uh. <sighs> Whoa! I'm sorry! Forgive me! Give me my ticket! I don't have it anymore! Cut the crap! <laughs> I'm sorry! <sighs> your problem. I still don't have the ticket I paid for. Here, take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. 
I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. <laughs> Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? <laughs> what are they? I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me. The, the harbor. Who's their boss? I I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you worked there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry guys, I had to hold the one in for a while, but that was funny as hell. That QTE scene and Jimmy crying, I could have sworn homeboy would have um splashed his trousers dealing with Rio. So now we know who that um that skinhead is, we're gonna go to the harbor. But I will save that for the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this series, so you guys come back and see some more, and check out my other gaming series. So until next time. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.